Let's dive into the theory because it, it mm-hmm. really must be such an honor to have a theory around your character. And we talked before, we're like, oh, is it like confirmed that she's in season five? I'm like, they literally can't confirm that. Right. That will be the biggest spoiler of all time that you are like a, ma- a major player. I mean, you could still be in five without this theory coming true, I think. But this theory is good. And mm-hmm. I think that it all stems from this show everything matters like the duffer brother duffer brothers don't put things in the show that doesn't matter right there's obviously always red herrings and stuff but this theory is basically that miss kelly and it all stems from when max goes to your house to distract you steal the key and go so the there's two main things one is the clock during the um whole scene right it's ticking the whole scene but that could just be a parallel to the vecna of it all and the theme of it all the entire time but Mm -hmm. the smoking gun is your necklace and the key and everyone is saying that that key opens up the grandfather clock at the creel house Mm. now this is epic and then people hear this and then they're like well yeah like why wasn't she reporting any of the symptoms that all of these people were experiencing the same symptoms why wasn't she reporting it that she must be giving stuff to vecna she must be somehow like a vessel for vecna i'm like Mm -hmm. this is crazy i'm like i was watching you and i'm like she is so sweet she's such a good counselor (laughs) And and it's tough because being a counselor in hawkins is yeah. tough because the kids know more than the adults. The adults don't even know what happened. They're trying to counsel you from this thing that happened at the mall when really a monster put his entire tentacle through her brother. Yeah. <laughs> and you have no idea. So let's hear your thoughts on the theory. What do you think about it? I, first of all, I'm honored that yeah. it blew up the way it did. Because <laughs> I got like texts from family, friends, people I haven't even talked to in years. They're like, have you seen this? You're on BuzzFeed, you're on BuzzFeed, <laughs> Top Sugar. And I'm like, holy crap. And I just, I don't know. And that's an honest answer as far as like what Miss Kelly has to do with all this. Um, and I think it's kind of cool because it's open-ended. I don't know if the Duffer Brothers intended for it to be open like this, but who knows what may spawn from? Because as you guys, you guys probably have noticed, like every season, there's little things like when they introduced Erica or Max or mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, different characters. They just build. Yes. I don't know if they intended for their story arc to be like that, but what what I love is that they respond to the way the fans, yeah, mm-hmm. love the show. I think that's so cool. I've never seen a show incorporate that. I think they do, and that's right? why you're going to be in season five. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that would be amazing if this true. <laughs> I would be so excited because I would never have thought myself a villain, you know. Well, let's I let's mean- talk about two things here. So at the very end of the season, we have the scenes where they're helping out at the gymnasium, you know, at the I'm school. Like, where's Miss Kelly? Miss Kelly she's should be there. The, so there's the so there's a couple <laughs> options here. She's either dead, which I would cry. She's <laughs> she's bad. So she's just not a, she's not around. She could be in the upside down helping Vecna out. Or it's just one of those things where the Duffer Brothers just didn't write you into it and and were upset because she would be there if she was just a normal person. She would be there at that time and if she was alive. So let's just hope that she's hanging with Vecna, just chilling. Yeah. Helping helping him tend his wounds. 100%. I am hoping for that. Um, It would be a dream. 